So you might notice that right now I'm surrounded by a bunch of different like consoles. That's because I'm in the simulation lab that we have at my hospital and all these consoles are just like the robot consoles that we use in the operating room. Um, so I'm gonna practice a little bit and I'll show you how they work. It's really cool. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, sitting down, I'm going to adjust the machine so that it fits to me rather than me having to like fit into the machine. All right, so that's that part. People usually sit in this in socks. This button here is for anything happening with your right hand, which is gonna be this one here. And then this button there, and that one there, is for anything that you're controlling with your left hand. When you are doing things on the screen, the way it works is you are pinching and opening this. If you want to reposition this arm, this thing here by your finger is called the clutch. So I'm kind of like pushing on this and it's not moving, but as soon as you hit that clutch, it kind of pops. So I'll show you again. I'm kind of pushing, it's not really moving, but then the clutch lets it unpop. So along with the modules that let you practice actual surgical techniques, there are a bunch of introductory kind of like playground modules like the one right here, where basically the whole point is just to kind of get the hand motions down and the wrist motions down. So in this one here, all you have to do is pick up these different colored toys and drop them in the color coded bins like you see me doing here. It's kind of fun and uh, it's a way to kind of get better at the skills and moving your hands without really having to even think all that much about it. Here in this module, I'm in the middle of doing something where you basically are practicing passing the needle. So these are these weird targets that are set up to basically uh, help you aim your needle properly. In real life, this matters because when you're using the robot to sew tissues, you want to be able to be super precise. So this is set up for like practicing that. Now this one here is a demo module to learn how to burn and control vessels. So this main vessel here is the main artery, and then those other branches coming off the sides are little like side branches. So you're supposed to coagulate the, uh, these little side branches in two different spots and then cut them in the middle in between. And when you do that properly, just like in real life, the vessel won't bleed. Um, but watch what I'm gonna do here. Here, I'm gonna burn, um, but now I'm not gonna cut totally in the middle. Oh no, it's bleeding, oh no, ah! And then you use the coag and it controls the bleeding. And we don't actually celebrate like that in real life. Oh, and if you wanna see what a colonoscopy simulator looks like, hit the link on the screen right now and it'll take you to another video I made about that. I'll see you over there.